Hi there, students. A cordon. To cordon, particularly to cordon off. Maybe a phrasal verb. OK, a cordon is a line of soldiers or police um, positioned so that they can stop people leaving or entering a certain area. So there was a police cordon around the site of the incident. They, they put police all round so that people couldn't get out or get in without permission. OK, and that's the idea of a cordon, um, a, li a line of people to uh, stop people crossing that line. Um, there was a cordon of police either side of the road as the prince drove down the road. OK, this cordon, it comes from French cordon, um, a, uh, a, a, a string or a rope or something like that, or a sash. Um, and effectively, it's, we're using it to mean a line. We have the phrase cordon bleu cookery. OK, the cordon bleu um, was a blue sash that was given to um, particularly brave or particularly chivalrous French gentlemen, uh, I think under the Bourbon kings. Um, and that then came to be a, uh, uh, an award or came to mean something uh, that was uh, awarded or very good in the field of cookery. Um, so to cordon off an area, um, the area was cordoned off because they didn't want the uh, criminals to escape. You can also have a cordon sanitaire. Um, this is uh, effectively a line to stop people getting in or going out of a place because of um, health reasons. So if, you're, if you've been in locked down and not allowed to leave your local area or leave your city or leave your neighborhood, that effectively is a cordon sanitaire. They don't want you to spread the disease. You can also use that metaphorically to stop something undesirable spreading. Um, uh, they put a cordon sanitaire around uh, uh, Russia because they uh, didn't want people to get in or out. Yeah, it's implying they're undesirable. Well, I don't know why, but still. OK, so to a cordon, a line of people to cordon off, to separate off, to separate out a place so that uh, um, people can't get, get uh, in or out, to prevent passage. Yeah, um, a military cordon in, a, uh, in uh, a war, maybe there's a cordon to stop uh, enemy spies getting in or out or crossing through. <coughs> Um, OK, and then, as I said, this cordon bleu is a uh, sash, which is uh, an award or was awarded for bravery. OK, so <coughs> the, a cordon, to cordon something off is a proactive uh, um, thing. Yeah, you want to restrict people. Um, they, the police nearly always cordon off the area around a crime scene police line, do not cross, do not enter, yeah? And then maybe you can cross the cordon if you uh, have uh, permission or the right um, uh, documentation. Uh, troops cordoned off the zone, yeah? Cordoned it off, so notice it's separable. OK, a cordon to cordon off, how formal? I think I would give these 5, maybe 5.5 in formality. I think you could use this word just about anywhere. Um, to seal off, maybe a little bit more informal. And then, as I said to you, it comes from uh, the French word cordon, yeah, which itself comes from uh, Latin, corner which itself comes from Greek, corda, which is a string on a lyre. A lyre is like a musical instrument. Yeah, so notice as well the chords that you play on a musical instrument are related to that ancient Greek word corda. OK, so a cordon, a cordon, a, 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 a piece of rope, maybe uh, 
uh, part of the venue was cordoned off for the uh, priority guests. Yeah, it's a long cord that uh, cordons off an area. Or maybe, yes, in airports they cordon off certain bits so that they can check your documents. Okay, so enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To cordon off, or a cordon, cordon bleu, cookery, and uh, a cordon sanitaire.